All right, welcome back to another Live the Faith series. We're here with Dr. Mark Miravalli. Uh, he's gonna be on a That Man Is You series coming soon. Um, at times in our spiritual lives, I, I think maybe everyone feels this at some point, like maybe this overwhelming feeling against the flesh, the world, and the devil. Um, and we, we tend to maybe think we're alone in this fight. How would you respond to that temptation to feel alone and yeah. to despair? Well, well, divine revelation about what church means is it's not just even you and Jesus against world, flesh, and devil. It's you and Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit and the Blessed Mother and St. Joseph and the nine choirs of angels and the saints in heaven and the holy souls of purgatory and your brothers and sisters on earth against the world, the flesh, the devil. We've got the massive qualitative and quantitative victory. Mark, we can't be alone if we wanted to be. Yeah. So that's God. what we have to remember, that we're on the winning team, we're promised victory, and we outpower and outnumber the enemy. So we have to enter the spiritual battle with that confidence because it's true, it's revelation, it's what it means to be a member of the church. Yeah, praise God. I think of this story, you, you may be able to verify for this for me, but there was one of my roommates in college, he used to, that's one of the things I love about Franciscan <laughs> is you tell same stories before you're going to bed at night, it's just part of the culture. <laughs> yeah. um, he said St. John Vianney, after hearing confessions all day long, he's sleeping in his bed at night and there's flames all around him and he wakes up and he sees the devil there. And he simply said, oh, you again. And closed his eyes, rolled over and went back to sleep. Uh, it's true, I mean, he, he, he commonly called him Old Snatch. <laughs> and people that didn't believe about the, the, the manifestations of Satan in the rectory would spend a night after the night they believed. Uh, mm. But that was his peace because he knew where the power he was. He had the power. With our Lord, with the Blessed Mother, crushes his head, St. Joseph, the saints were simply on the winning side. Praise God. So invoke all this power. Um, and you know, the times are really difficult where sin abounds, grace abounds all the more. We have all this grace at our disposal that Christ has given us. Um, and if God is with us, who can stand against us. Absolutely. And, so we, and we have to tap it because that's we free will. We've got to cooperate with the grace. Sacramental life of the church, yeah. all these things. Yeah. It's glorious and, and we have victory promised. Praise God. All right, we'll be back for one more with uh, Dr. Maribali. Thank you.